Hello, America. I'm going to see if I can keep the signal. I'm at the hotel for Dallas CPAC, the Hotel Anatole. I just had breakfast, slept in, got a lot of work done last night on the content, some other things. And uh, we'll see if we can make it to the security. Donald Trump, uh, the real president, will be speaking at 5.30 p.m. That'll be 6.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time, or Eastern Daylight Time. So uh, Newsmax will probably have it. Otherwise, go to uh, Right Side Broadcasting on Facebook for the link, or just go to Right Side Broadcasting to their app, which I recommend. Hello, how are you? So we'll see if I can keep a signal. They're going to have security. Hello. Security is... State of the right? Yes. Yeah, I know. So uh, because uh, he's speaking, and it's going to be at least uh, uh, five hours, six hours from now, they're already starting with the prep work, uh, making sure you have badges. If you don't have a badge, you can't, you know. And uh, it's like TSA-level security, no liquids, no bottled water, pretty much just your some money, your wallet, and uh, that's about it is allowed. So the, more than likely I'll be asked to stop uh, live streaming because uh, they won't like it because um, of security, but it's really basic. You know, every everybody here has been pre-screened, but still, you know, there's always whack, liberal wackos that might try to do something. So you can see there's the... Uh, the TSA level uh, screener. I don't know if it's uh, probably not an X-ray. It's probably uh, uh, regular. Um, if it's an X-ray, I got to get padded down. Um, I see three three stations, and uh, I just want to go into the exhibit hall. And they, they have plenty of speakers. Uh, so once you're through here, it's fine. But if you leave. Um, you have to go through it all again, and uh, the line could be much longer, much longer. And uh, there's, uh, I didn't time this perfectly because I'm on I'm on vacation time, just doing whatever I want. So I don't know if I'll will stay doing this or shut down. But uh, everybody has to go through it. Um, they'll probably tell me to dump my coffee. I ate at the same restaurant. All the Latino waitstaff doted over me because they, I made them famous. They saw my post on Facebook. They loved it. So they're all coming over speaking Spanish, telling me how anti-communist they are and, you know, what the communists have done to their various countries. And they're all voting Republican. And I, told, I reminded them about the midterms. They, they, some of them were really, really quite aware that they have uh, midterms in November. So I educated them. They all said, yes, Governor Abbott, yes, Beto. No, no, no me gusta Beto, fake, falso, falso Latino, fake Latino. Uh, Robert Francis, uh, uh, whatever his last name is, kind of, it's called Beto. Uh, he, he's, he'll lose by 10. Nobody's voting for him down here. Um, I talked to a cop uh, yesterday, it was really nice, he was chatting, but total Trump conservative. He, he got the best detail, he was right across from right side broadcasting, watching the Trump rally in air-conditioned comfort with free desserts. Guy couldn't have been happier. He was from a local local sheriff's, county sheriff's department, and he's on the inside for the, the plum detail group. They had the plum preferred the guys, they, they give them the plum assignments. Or they can stand outside uh, in 103 degree heat, uh, waving flags at a construction site. Now you take it. Uh, what, what assignment would you like to do? Would you like to be in an air conditioned hotel where the air conditioning is actually a little too cold, uh, out of the sun, uh, watching um, uh, real Americans walk by with all sorts of uh, so? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a no brainer. The guys love it. They pretend to be neutral. They have they have, they have their poker faces, you know, pretending not. To